Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.128, okay? It says, the car has an initial speed of 20 meters per second. If it increases its speed along the circular track at s equal to zero and acceleration, our tangential acceleration equal to 0 0.8 s in meters per second square, where s is in meters, determine the time needed for the car to travel to the position equal to 25 meters. Okay, so over here, we're giving this car is going along this curvature and we're asked to find the time that it takes this car to find the 25 meter mark, okay? So in order to start this problem, what we need to do, so let's start first by do, get, um, writing up our given initial condition. So we got that our velocity is equal to 20 meters per second our initial velocity and at s equal to zero our tangential acceleration is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by our position okay so in order to find the time what we need to start or for this problem is that we're going to utilize one of the initial equations that were given chapters before and that equation is that our velocity times the change in velocity has to be equal to our tangential acceleration times the change in position okay so now if we do the integral on both sides so now we know that the initial velocity is 20 so our left integral starts at 20 and it ends up at our final velocity which we don't know of our velocity times our change in velocity Okay, and this has to be equal to the integral of our acceleration. Well, our acceleration is 0 0.8 s times the change in position, and the integral starts at 0 because our position, initial position, is 0, and our final position, we're just going to give it as an s, okay, for final. So if we do perform the integral on our left side, just the integral, not applying our boundaries, we'll, we'll realize that this will be b squared divided by 2. And the boundaries are from 20 all the way to our final velocity. This has to be equal to, and then the integral on our right side will become s squared divided by 2. And let's not forget that we got a 0 0.8 on front. If we combine this 0 0.8 and this divided by 2, we are going to have a total of 0 0.4, okay? And this is evaluated from 0 all the way to s, okay? Now, from here, on the, our left side, we will end up having b squared after putting our boundaries minus, so b squared divided by 2 minus 20 squared we got this divided by 2, has to be equal to 0 0.4s squared minus 0. Well, that minus 0, we can just erase it, right? So now, when we're at this step, our main goal is to go and find our, and solve for our velocity, okay? So we're going to solve for our velocity. So let's start by passing away the number that we have in here this negative 20 squared divided by 2 and if we put this 20 squared divided by 2 it's 200 so i'm going to pass it as positive 200 to the other side so we got 0 0.4 s squared plus 200 okay now from here we can multiply by 2 on both sides and we will end up having b squared has to be equal to 0 0.8 s squared plus 400 so we multiply it by 2 on both sides and then if we solve for velocity we will do the square root on both sides so we'll have that our velocity is equal to the square root of 0 0.8 s squared plus 400 okay so now we found our velocity and what was the reason to find our velocity in terms of position well the reason for that is that we also know that our velocity is equal to the change in position divided by the change in time. 
okay so from here what we can say if we solve for our change in time is that the change in time has to be equal to the change in position divided by our velocity so knowing this we apply integral on both sides again so we have the integral from our beginning of time which is zero all the way to our final time which is what we want to find of our change in time has to be equal to the integral of let's just start by putting our velocity well it, we have to divide our change in position divided by our velocity well we found out that our velocity is equal to this square root so we will have a square root of 0 0.8 s squared plus 400 okay and what are the boundaries for this integral well the boundaries is for our position so we know that we started at position equal to zero so we got from zero all the way to our final position but what was, what's our final position so if we go back up we are given our initial and we're also giving in the question in here that our position is equal to 25 meters at least that's the time when we want to find our uh, that's the position when we want to find our time so we're going to go all the way to 25 meters okay so if we perform the integral on our left side we will realize that this will be equal to t by itself and if we use our calculator our graphing calculator to do the integral on our right side since it's uh, given both limits meaning that we're going to go the integral of 1 over the square root of 0 0.8 s squared plus 400 times ds will, will give us a total of 0 0.0 I'm uh, not 0 I'm sorry 1.08 seconds if we round it up okay and this is our final answer now if you guys don't know how to do this integral in our in your calculator what you guys can do is that you can go online into any graphing calculator that does integrals and you can just plug in the numbers plug in everything and you'll find the answer okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one